Yo, welcome Fronies to the Ultimate Upgrading Guide. Today we are going to work our way up from the basics of the upgrading in Throne of Liberty all the way to the tips that will actually reduce the amount of resources that you will need for upgrading. If you want to access the upgrading, you just click any item and then you will see the equipment enchanting right here and you go straight into the upgrading menu where you can then upgrade your items. Bam. But first we have to understand how the items are designed. And we are having three different core rarities at the start of the game. And this is green for uncommon, blue for rare and purple for epic. Green items can be upgraded all the way to plus six. Blue items can be upgraded all the way to plus nine. While purple items can also be upgraded to plus nine. Also, this important to note that the growth stones that are used for upgrading are determined either for your armor, your weapon and for accessories. So you have to collect the specific one to upgrade those pieces. In the transfer tab, you now have the option to transfer the experience from a lower grade to a higher grade item. Note that's important, you can only do that once per item. So that means you will upgrade your green item to plus six, you will then put it into a blue item, that blue item will be burst free, you are then upgrading that item to plus nine you will then put it into a epic and that that one would go to plus eight but be cautious here we're going to take a look at a tip later on how to do that more efficiently but this is the basic upgrading process that almost everyone is using and that means you do not have to be afraid to actually um, upgrade lower gear or like save materials. You can keep pushing and always take the experience with you to your next gear. But the important question is now, where are we getting our growth stones from? And one of the most reliable sources are your daily contracts that you can do. In those, you will then go over to the red ones here. Those are rare rubrics where you can then craft weapon growth stones, for example. With those, you can craft them for the armor and on you have all of them available but if a server is starting new you want to be focusing on your weapon first get that one max to a purple plus nine and then you want to continue using your contracts for something else because the weapon is the most important part of your equipment and the most important part to stay awake during the launch are the energy drinks of our sponsor rogue energy because we all know i have a couple of kilos too much and rogue energy is an energy drink with only five calories per serving and if you're going for the hydration one, it's even at zero calories. So it's my energy of choice. You can check it out in the link in the description. And if you use code PONY, you will even get 10% off your next order. Also, when you're rolling for this, you always want to roll multiple times. So that means you have a selection. You want to check one, you want to take it and you want to re-roll. Also, while you are checking what you are taking, you can see if some of those quests are matching and having similar target, then you can farm those contracts a bit faster. So let's make an example. I want to go weapon and I do want to do it um, with the level 51. So I could take those two here. I'm taking those. Then I can refresh and go for another weapon one and try to get stuff that is like similar so you can complete multiple of them at once sorry besides the gems that you're getting to craft the chrome stones on the contract you're also getting contract points by doing this and they can then be spent at the contract point merchant where you will see here again gems that you can use to upgrade your gear also important here is you can buy the mystic keys and then open mystic globes on the open world and this will also grant you upgrade materials another way to obtain them is by going to the auction house in the miscellaneous tab and then to the materials where you will then see the gems that you can buy i want to mention here here. Don't be too afraid that you can buy that with actually real money via the Lucent. The whales cannot just go and cap their gear on day one because the whole upgrade process is eating a lot of Solent and this is how the whales are being limited from being able to have max gear on day one. And now that we're already talking about Solent, it is really important that you're using your Abyssal contract tokens all the time when they're close to getting to max in one of those open world dungeons like the Silas Abyss for example at the server start. So you're going to go in here and you're going to kill basically everything that is inside will also give you the ability to drop those gems. And the side effect is you will be um, farming Solon. Important is that before you go into those areas, you should try to get the rare soft steam bird egg. So if you have that buff food, you will get 50% Solon increase for one hour, which basically means you're stacking up your points, you craft that, you go in there for one hour and you're done. At the start of the server, another important source here is the Tadels Tower that you find at Starlight Observatory at that picture. Here, every 
very clear of the floors will provide you with lots of upgrade material. You can also, when the, when you're starting at the server and you get the hand on all of those purples and you still wear blue gear, just dissolve them and go upgrade your blue gear for the power spike. It's worth it. Also, if you struggle with any of the floors, I'm going to provide videos for all of the hard floors that will be released soon. Then another source is actually the battle pass where you can see that you will always find um, upgrade materials in every renewal of the battle pass. And of course, you will get lots of quest rewards that are regarding that matter. And you can take a look at them at the codex where you have the normal main storyline that will give you some rewards. But also under the exploration tab, you will find many different areas where you can see what the quests will give you as a reward. And you can target farm the upgrade materials there. If you're in the city and you go to any of the crafters, like if it be accessory, armor or weapon, in the weapon materials tab right here, you will then find the option to craft um, growth stones out of all different rarities. And you can also upgrade older, like the lower rarity also in the higher one and vice versa. You can dissolve that one into the blue one like I already mentioned. Here you will also need powder. I'm also already in the production of a video on how to farm magic powder and Polish crystals the fastest so you can always have enough resources to craft your growth stone. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do not want to miss that video. Now let's go over the final tip that I want to give you. In a regular progression, once you get to plus nine and you have a good item that is purple, you will most likely go for a direct transfer to get the plus six and continue your power spike. But there is a more efficient way and if you would level the purple item to level 6.27 and then you go and put your plus nine blue item in, the purple one will instantly go to plus nine and you are saving lots of resources on the most expensive upgrades that is seven, eight, nine. And as a little, little bonus, so you see how much resources it's actually eating from six to nine if you do it the regular way, we're gonna upgrade Ron and Ring together. Well, I'm gonna say usually it takes a lot more resources. That upgrade was just like really, really lucky. Maybe we are getting a more realistic looking one here on that piece. You see like it's, it ate up a lot more resources. Yeah, here you go. Like that's more realistic than the other one. So you see we burned through 150 of those growth stones like instantly. So always make sure that you prioritize farming them whenever you can. And if you still have any questions about upgrading or any other part of the game, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.